Will you be in the remnant? The remnant is a concept that is all over the Bible. In fact, if you look at the Old Testament, there are no less than 51 times that the English word remnant appears. And if you look in the New Testament, well, there are only two times that the English word remnant appears. But guess what? In Hebrew, there are numerous words that apply to the remnant. And so the English is sometimes translating other than remnant. They may be translating those who are left or something like that. So you've actually got a lot more than 51 in the Old Testament. When it comes to the New Testament, the, we have the same problem because there are words and passages in the New Testament re that refer to the remnant. It may not be translated remnant, but, but that's what it is. In fact, in Paul's letter to the Romans, chapters 9 to 11, he's speaking to Jewish believers, but he's warning them that God is going to be selecting a remnant from the people of Israel. And then Paul goes on to talk about the branches. Now, the branches represent Israel. And what God is saying is that he's only, he's only some of the people from Israel are going to be qualified to serve in the remnant. It has nothing to do with who's going to be saved. It's serving in the remnant, a role of the remnant. And then Paul goes on to warn believers in Christ. And this is what he says. Do not be arrogant toward the branches. The branches represent Israel. If God did not spare the natural branches, that's the, the people of Israel, where he, it has nothing to do with being saved. It has to do with who's going to be qualified and worthy to serve in the remnant. So if God did not spare the natural branches and, and it's to tell a lot of the people of Israel, you're not ready yet to serve in the remnant, he will not spare you either. There will be a remnant out of Israel. There will be a remnant out of the church. This is going to start a series on the remnant from Scripture. We're going to start with Old Testament prophecies. And in the next session, we will look at the first appearance of the English word remnant, which is very powerful. It has to do with Joseph and, and how Joseph is explaining something about the remnant. So I'll, I'll see you in the next session.